Oh, does it allow me to share? View. Oh, yes, it does. I can copy the link and everything. Oh. I can do what? Copy. I went in the top left hand corner. Uh -huh. And then, then I click where it says live on YouTube and it allowed oh. me to grab the link. We can do that. That's what I was doing yesterday while I was talking. I'm going to post it in Real Estate Live. We are. Let live. me ask you this. Did you did you close out of YouTube yesterday? I just mute, I just pause it. Pause it, then you don't have to see, then you won't hear it. Just hit hit just hit just tap right on in the middle of it. Okay, I got it. All right, everybody. Well then where did you read the comments at? And so and when people start commenting, it'll be on the right. I'll start commenting so you can see it. Okay. Oh, good. We're hey guys. <laughs> we look, we we did that a lot faster today than we did it yesterday, Carrie, huh? Although we're late because I took Jonathan to physical therapy, but that's life. Hey, life happened. So I'm coming up here to YouTube, right? Stop stream, view stream on YouTube, copy stream and link. What? That's what I'm talking about. We're right. doing some new and improved stuff. What's going on, world? This is your girl, Marky Lemons Rao. And today we're going to teach you how to generate leads. Who I'm hanging hey. out with. And so I'm here, I'm posting. I said, hey, so you see Mina's here. Hey, Mina, what's cracking like it, Mina? Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome, Carrie. So I'm gonna come over here and look at YouTube, even though the screen is still, look. Oh, I wonder if I turn the volume off on YouTube Dude. itself, I could still stay over here. So let's see how that works. Let's, yep, you sure okay. Can. And then you let can me, play it. Let me play it. And then we can oh, see it then I can see us. Girl, look, we're gonna Mina's figure this out. proud. Oh, well, thank you. Look, I'm proud of us too, because we've come a long way, haven't we? I Just some good old girls girl. <laughs> from Chicago. <laughs> Never knew we'd be Facebook famous. <laughs> Look, that goal is, are we going to end up um, YouTube famous, right? What We need a thousand people each, right? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Let me go post this. Um, let me go tell everybody we're here. So let me tell you what we're going to talk about today. Every single day this week, we are discussing how to generate leads for little to no cost for real estate professionals using tools that their MLS has or free tools. So today I get to pick the subject on lead generation and I am going to discuss a free tool for lead gen that I've generated quite a few leads with uh, over the course of the past four years. Carrie's also generated leads with it and I have a funny story to tell about how you have 418 contacts and you forget you have them. Right. Um, and so when we're talking to real estate professionals, one of the biggest issues they have is lead generation. They honestly believe that their broker is responsible for providing them with leads. Were they not? No, that is the biggest myth. Here's, here's the thing. Let's go back to the business mind. When you come into real estate, you come in so that you can earn an unlimited income. Mm -hmm. When you go to work with a broker, probably 97.5, 98% of us are licensed and are independent contractors. As an independent contractor, you are an entrepreneur. You're responsible. You don't get a base salary. You are responsible for lead generation. It is number one with the job. But now let me tell you this. Are there companies who give you leads? And we discussed this yesterday. Yes, what I can promise you, if they give you leads, you're going to get a lower commission split because leads aren't free. And I think I'm changing all terminology this year. Leads aren't free. They take time. They take energy. They take money to generate. And there's no way you should ever think as an independent contractor, that's my responsibility as a broker, managing broker, broker of record. Carrie. Did you want to chime in on that thought? Uh, okay, so this is so when agents come into the business, and because I'm managing, what I'm finding is is they come in really thinking that they're about to get a job. Yeah, and, we don't have no set hours. Clearly, they didn't read the independent contractor agreement. And you know, and I actually have what I've done differently with my independent contractor agreement is I have initials, so it stops where I need you to pay attention and I got notes. I'm like, reread this. 
because we really don't read. And I know, cause I, I mean, I lost an agent recently that went to a company because she was told that they're going to let her shadow and be, um, and, uh, what was it? And, and give her leads. And I'm like, okay. Good luck with that one. No you one gives you right now. Let me say this. No one gives you lead. If they're giving you the lead, there's a cost. So it's always I, a cost. If I give you a lead, I'm taking a percent. And if I and and we've talked about it yesterday, if I give you a lead, I'm I'm probably going to give the lead to the person that is actually working, already has clients because they understand how to have the conversation. So what's interesting, Marky, when you said that is, I have, have I left my books in the other room. I got that seven whatever book in the mail, and I just bought I rebought the thirty million book, whatever the name full name is, because they have an update. Okay. Because when I went online, it was updated. So well, let's stop for a second because people might want to know what books okay, you're let talking about. Yeah, let so let, let's stop for a second so that we can show people exactly uh, the books that we're talking about, um, the seven levels of communication, and the roadmap to a profitable $30 million business. I believe both of the, well, I know this one was, was part of my office book club. I, I know, you know, I can talk. Yeah, I don't, I don't need, you don't have to be here for me to keep talking, right? Um, I believe every new agent in the business should read this combination. If not, then you should definitely read the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book by Gary Keller. Um, but, but these two books should be foundational. And here's what, and we haven't even gotten to the lead generation. We're venting right now. Here's what's funny. People complete the pre-license course and they think that's all the work they have to do. Let me tell you this. Getting a real estate license, earning that license is the beginning of the next phase, okay? It's not the end be all. It, for lack of better terms, it ain't shit, right? Because you don't know what to do with it no way. And so at the end of the day, it gives you the ability to start a career. That's when the education really starts because what they teach you in that book is not what we're doing out here in these streets. What I'm looking for right now is the pre-licensed real estate book, but I believe it must be downstairs because I don't see one in my office. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the pre-licensed um, the pre-licensed book for the state of Illinois. It's a book about this thick. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Even though the pre-licensed book in your state is this thick, I have read hmm, a thousand times that amount in 20 years. Actually, every year you read a thousand times that amount. I throw away cases of content every single year from designations, certifications, seminar courses. I have 60, counted 60, real estate related licenses, designations, and certifications. That little funky book that they gave you on the pre-license course ain't nothing in the grand scheme of things of being successful in real estate. Absolutely nothing. And, and, and I've had agents that are like, you know, this, this is what I would prefer to do than go to college. And look, you don't have to go to college to be successful in real estate. But guess what? You're about to go to school. Yep, you have to go to school. Because um, you, you're going to either pay for it or you're going to show up to every training your company has or you're going to join Marky and I on YouTube. And here's what's funny. In the world of real estate, <laughs> don't let my looks fool you. I am friends with several of the CEOs and the presidents of realtor boards across the country. So I have high level conversations every single day. With that being said, was that a conversation yesterday? Yeah, because I'm looking a little big today. Look at this. Well, it don't matter, girl. Look, the, the question is who's sliding into our DMs, right? And can right. I... Marky, can I grab a minute? When are you free? Well, hold on, pump the brakes one second. And right. I work for the top real estate country, companies in the world, the largest realtor associations in the world, part none. So in this conversation was talking yesterday, and I think that we need to start telling the truth and let people know they must become a lifelong learner or they're not gonna be successful. If you're not pivoting right now, you're going to have problems. You're gonna have issues. And we were joking, we did a, a mock Zoom meeting this morning. So uh, J-Man says, well, Marky, you know my email address is AOL. I said, oh, and I'm assuming you still have a fax machine too. That right there, that means we're being sarcastic. That is not funny. Nothing about what I just said was funny. 
But yet really, that's the, that's, that's the world we live in. If you have a fax machine, I, I'm like, you. this in the Museum of Science and Industry now. Why? Why? Yeah. So let's talk about lead generation. If we were to go over to Facebook right now, mm -hmm. I have a post. This is what I recommend every agent do. I think you should start it tomorrow. I want you to identify 50, 50 leaders in your marketplace. This is because I'm for 50 consecutive weeks, I want you to do a video. I do want you to take a two week vacation, start taking a vacation. One thing they don't tell you, those who making money in real estate, we make more money every time we get on an airplane. Every time we get on an airplane and we're going to mid-year meetings that are now online this year, or we're going to the realtor conference and expo, or we're going to some big realtor event, we start making money. We get deals every time we get on a plane, but I digress. So what I want you to do is I want you, and we're going to try this because we've never done this. We've never done screen share via Zoom to YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and we're gonna do screen share and hope all of this works, guys, uh, cause this is the I'm first look. time. I'm gonna go look. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just forewarning you, we've not done this before. What I love about Google is that Google Someone has- says, that shirt from Mrs. Sola? Missoula. All right, okay, I, look, I'm, I'm too far. My TV's over there, Missoula. Missoula, Montana. Montana, yes, Adam is saying, hey. Hey, Adam, I love my Montana folks. So I just came over to Google and I'm gonna go to my Google Drive. Inside of Google Drive, they have what is called Google Forms. A lot of people don't know about Google Forms because they won't just go down a little farther, right? So over on the left-hand side, you see the word new. When I click on new, we're gonna see a drop-down menu to more. More is gonna take me to Google Forms. Now, what I wanna do is I actually wanna come and show you what some completed Google Forms looks like. But let me explain what a form is um, in other terminology. You've heard of squeeze pages, landing pages, lead capture tools. Inside of Google for free, you can create your own landing pages. You can attach it to a spreadsheet, a CSV formatted file, and you can set it up that it auto responds to the person. That is a landing page, okay? But everything for lead generation, we don't do it after we do the video or after we do the post. We set everything up before, okay? Uh, Carrie, any comments you got? No, I was just gonna say, um, cause you can just, the sky's the limit. If you go to my link tree, you can actually fill out the form to work with me as an agent. A buyer can just fill it out and I get an email. Like, so Carrie took the buyer agency form, came over and created a Google form. So all of those questions, name, I guess, earnings. Are you ready to buy? Are you ready to buy? And it populates a spreadsheet. So now Carrie has all of this information. But the beautiful thing is she can actually make a spreadsheet, talk directly to her customer relationship management system or her email marketing. Now, I know that that probably was a mouthful, but let me show you what a couple of uh, these forms look like so that you could get an idea of the data that we're collecting. Let me tell you this. Th th this was the one I had to show Carrie the other day. One, you can customize them. So you can put your own custom header in there. But this one, I always say, don't ask for more than what you need. Ask for email address first. That's what we need all the time. First so go now, back to your share and make sure you're sharing your desktop because I am still on type form on YouTube. You're still on type form on YouTube. So let me say this. I'm seeing, I am sharing my screen. I'm just not seeing, oh, it's over here, Carrie. It's working. I just came back and clicked over. Oh. Girl, and it's, it, look, it runs so much more smooth. Oh, oh it's taking its time. God. Okay, I'm a little behind. I forgot uh, it was late. This, okay, it this is working, girl. So look at this Google form. You have my questions on the left side, which is this page. When we come over to responses, I have 412 people who responded to this form and I totally forgot I even had this form. So I'm gonna actually download these leads and put them into another system. So when we come back and we start thinking about these different forms. I did one for my husband's 40th birthday party because I wanted to mail out invitations. Um, I do them for feedback. You could do it for old 
open house follow up. Here's a a you mock. can do it for a testimonial, even if you're using the Zillows of the world or um, um, uh, uh, I can't think of the other platform. So Zillow, we have um, gosh, what is Main Street using? But anyway, you could use this to get your testimonials from any client. You could do it for highest and best offer submission because it will time stamp them. You know, when you set a deadline and the people send it later, it'll be time stamped. And then you will have a spreadsheet to go back and discuss uh, highest and best offers with your seller. But here's a mock open house registration form. Um, are you currently working with a broker, managing broker, or leasing agent? Have you ever signed a buyer agreement with anyone? Because I want to know if you're under an exclusive agreement to be representative. Uh, represented. Uh, are you pre-approved? So to me, as a listing agent, you should never allow a non-represented buyer to come and walk freely through your seller's property because your fiduciary responsibilities are to the seller. And if I'm doing an open house or whether they're represented or not, well, if they're represented, they don't need to complete. If they're not represented, they do need to complete. And so you can set this up where all that paper you've been printing and sitting out, right, that when you go back to lock the house up, you see uh, sitting on the uh, kitchen counter, the bathroom sink, I wouldn't give any paper out. I would have this set up that it auto delivers all of the paperwork. So I'm not printing anything, but I would never walk them through the house unless they could pull that form up on their phone. Because if they can pull it up on their form, phone, they gave me the right email address. And I don't think you should be able to walk through someone's house if you don't have the integrity to at least give up an email address. I so had an agent tell, um, she had a husband and wife come to the property and she said, you have to sign in. And she was like, why? I just came to four others and they didn't make me. She said, well, if, ever, if I ever listed your house, would you want me to allow anybody just to come through your house? And the husband said, she's right, honey. Girl, they filled out that form so quick. You shouldn't do it. You, you should change the rules. You shouldn't do it. And because we don't have standard average or normals, right? We just have laws. Um, what one agent does doesn't mean that that's how you want your business to look. And here's the thing, safety. So the reason that being a realtor is among the top 10 jobs for homicide in this country, we're the only occupation where we meet strangers at a property and decide to lock the door with us both on the same side. Now, I know how I said it just sounded a little different, like, because you might not have thought about it like that. <laughs> that sounds stupid. That is stupidity at its highest level coming from a girl from the south side of Chicago bout it bout it baby ride or die Inglewood for life I'm never locking me and some stranger on the same side of the door I just <laughs> I, I had to you know Carrie I had to give him that you other had to side. make it real I had to have to make it real for him right um and so all of every last one of these forms has its own unique URL and what Carrie and I like to do once we create the form, and I'm going to actually go back because I want to show you one that we've actually done lead gen with. Um, this is the Southside Real Estate Update. Uh, we created this form some years ago. 51 people have responded. What you can do is as you come up to the top where it says send, you go and you actually copy the link. You can copy or shorten it. Now, for me, I like to just copy the link. But what I like to do with this link, and I want you to get this for free too. So Google Forms is free. And this is free as well. You're going to go over and you're going to start a Bitly account, B-I-T-L-Y dot com. And if you ever question what I'm talking about, go up to the browser. But they have app. You don't need the APP at the beginning. You pay for this? No, I don't. I have the free version. What what you thinking, Carrie? No, I'm just wondering if you pay for it. I don't pay for it. I just was wondering if you had. No, I haven't. I have. I have. No, I haven't paid any money. But let me, and here's the joy in this. Let me just show this to you. So as you can see, I have 51 leads inside of that Google form, but 299 people have clicked on the link. They did not click on that long, ugly URL from Google Forms. They actually clicked on South Side Update. What Bitly does, it allows you to shorten 
customize and measure the URL. So I like to make everything branded too. You see, it says the Southside update. And as we come back and look at this Google form, it is branded to the Southside real estate update. Well, let's say I'm going to go do a post or I'm going to go do a Facebook live video. What I'm going to do before I do all of that, I have everything set up. I am going to copy this link and post it in the comments. Well, not the comments. Uh, when Facebook asks you, what are you doing? I want to make sure that I tell you exactly what it says. I think on Facebook, does it say, what, what are you doing? Is that what it says when you go to make a post? Hold on. Oh, when you go oh. to make a post, oh, what's on your mind? Where it says, yeah, what's, what's on, on your, your mind, mind, Carrie, yes. You post that link before you go live. And as you are talking, through your live, you tell people, make sure to click on the link if you want to receive the Southside Real Estate Update. I know that 299 people clicked on that link, and I know that I generated a total of 51 leads, and it cost me no money. Carrie. Hands, I, I, you know, I, I want to, so let me ask you this, because I don't know how, how much you want to tell them. But, I, let's tell it all, Carrie. What, okay. what the hell? We let's, over here on YouTube. Tell it I'm all. Trying to click around to make sure figure out where I'm at. Oh, uh, where are you at? I'm trying to figure out which page is which page. Oh, that's you. So when you're um, so show them the how you get the downloads with the form notifications. Like oh, want to give so let's go page. back. So so you get the right to build this out any way you want it. Color questions. Um, you get to actually come in here and decide what type of questions, short answer, multiple choice, rank your questions. So let's assume that I am, let's do this, Carrie. I'm going to minimize this so we're not here. Going to make a couple of assumptions here. So when I come in to this form, let's say that I'm going to edit the form. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and we're going to add a new question, okay? And as I go to add this new question, you'll see right here, it says options. I get to decide if this is going to be a paragraph, multiple choice, checkbox, drop down, file upload, linear scale, scale, multiple choice grid, uh, checkbox, do I want the date, the time for the public? I'm still going to get the date and the time every time they submit it, okay? So those would be some of the options. I'm going to delete that. But how do I turn on the auto responder? Well, when we come up to the top, the very first thing under the response side, I hit this green plus sign. That set up a Google spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet that is attached to the form, okay? And if I make adjustments to the form, it'll make adjustments to the spreadsheet. But you should not make adjustments to your form if you're using tools like If This Then That or Zapier, where you're, you're pulling that information into other tools, okay? Like Minds talks to my MailChimp email account, and which is also my customer relationship management system. Well, right here- Are you going straight to MailChimp because you have the upgrade or are you using If This Then That through Google Forms to go to MailChimp? Um, I'm actually using Zapier and it's, part of the premium account because I was doing too many zaps per month mm. for the free account. Um, and you could check with if this, the net, which is free to see if they talk directly to MailChimp. I know my Eventbrite account talks directly to MailChimp. So how do I set up the autoresponder where it delivers an item of value? Well, if you look at this, they actually changed this little <laughs> two here, but you have these add-ons. The add-on that I have added on, because you can make a lot of forms do a lot of different things. Let's say you had 10 tickets available. As each person buys a ticket, it makes fewer tickets available. So essentially, like it takes away from the inventory. That's an add-on. The add-on I have is form notification. We click open form notification. And what you're going to see over on the right-hand side, once it opens, it's letting you know that every time I get a lead, it sends it to me, it sends it to Stephanie so well, and then it sends this autoresponder. Thank you for completing the form to the Southside Real Estate Update. Click 
on this link. So I'm going to actually copy this link. So we can see what it is. So we can see what it is. Copy. I'm going to open up a new browser. Paste. So I use the Dropbox link to insert. Um, this is the update. It was 22 pages. It was created inside of Canva for free. And here's going to be some of Carrie's information. And you know, this is old Carrie, right? Right. Um, this yeah, is but... InfoSparks. And I know you would not have had MRED at the top. You yeah, would have actually Let me tell you had... what I would have done. I would have done whatever is done the fastest so I could start using it if I didn't have time. There are days when MRED will be up there. I got you. So all of this, let me tell you what this was. Me and Stephanie Sowell and I did a live video. We generated 51 leads. We talked about the South Side of Chicago doing a 203K purchase rehab. I know that a lot of people don't know where the MMRP areas are in Chicago. Those are micro markets where the city of Chicago has a $15,000 forgivable grant. Because it's not easy to always find, I pulled that those maps for the areas and included in the report. So if people wanted the information, they had to click on the link. And I put the area map behind the areas that actually had it. So I gave you the Woodline update and right behind the Woodline update was the map. Now for some of you, uh, you're probably thinking, oh, that's time consuming. I generated 51 leads for no out-of-pocket expenses. Stephanie's Why would people say it's time consuming when you got to get this? If you go, so here's this is what I always say. So your paycheck is hindering you from making the 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 a 30 million dollar real estate business because you won't do this. Well, here's the thing. Stephanie Sowell is a regular sponsor of my events, right? Uh, because she received the 51 lead. She even came to my son's graduation party and gave him one hundred dollars. Uh, for his college graduation. So she's been good to us. Uh, what I will say is it took about an hour to create the landing page and to create the giveaway once you learn how to do it. So we only learn how to do things by doing them continuously, right? You have to do them repeatedly, right. uh, not continuously, but repeatedly. And so these are things that I know how to do with my eyes closed almost, because I've done them so many times. Right, and I talked to an agent today in another state and I was showing them how to use Remind. And usually the hardest thing is, is when you learn something new, but eventually, eventually once you start doing this consistently, it's second nature. That's why I teach, Marky. Because then I get access to the stuff first, I get to play with it because you know that new tool that I want to talk about tomorrow is out, oh my gosh. Um, well, I can't wait to see that tomorrow. Guys, make sure you put on your calendar tomorrow, 4.45 p.m. We'll be Cloud ready. Cloud CM has an update enhancement that the Carrie Little is going to do tomorrow. Yes. And I want everybody, we need everybody to go do that as well. Now, I Before know that, you Go ahead, say what you're going to say. I know that we only have uh, so much time together. What I would say is this. If you want to learn the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this up, we have a private Facebook group called Real Estate Live. It is in one of our social learning units. Carrie, um, let me go. I'm sorry. I'm going to go look it up to tell you what social learning unit. So go to Real Estate Live, facebook.com forward slash. I'm in it already. Forward slash Real Estate Live. And... Um, and while you're doing that, you started with 50 weeks on Facebook, take two two weeks off, and, and you never finished your thoughts. So I had oh. that written down, so I'm just bringing you back. Thank you. I'm so what you want to do is you want to reach out to 50 gregarious, outgoing real estate service providers in your marketplace. You want to book each one of them uh, one per week to do a live video to your part. No to your Facebook audience that is the largest Facebook audience and create this process to generate leads. I don't know why my, I can't even get to my Facebook group, but anyway, it's stuck. 
So Real Estate Live, I'm just going over here to look at the social learning unit. So Carrie yeah. and I have these, uh, actually it's 19. We have 19 social learning units over here with uh, video tutorials just on that subject, PowerPoint, handouts, additional resources. And this unit, Capture Leads Quickly, is actually unit seven. Okay, so unit seven. Okay, I have to redo Cloud CMA and I have to redo Remind and yeah. Yeah, so we have everything already built into that social learning unit. What questions do you guys have? Let's see. Oh, uh, oh, so Ty said, are the leads automatically sent to your database or your CRM? They are if you automate them through a tool called If This Then That or Zapier. If not, no, they're in the CSV file. You would need to export then import. Yeah, it's, but but really, who if you do just get in a in your spreadsheet, you just import them right into your CRM. That's just you can, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. But and it really depends on how you work. So if you haven't figured out Zapier, maybe you need to make a Zapier and an If This Then That set up. I'll figure out if this, then that, you figure out that you, you go do the class on Zapier. Let's see, what's the other question? The other one is, okay, so yeah, or CRM. And Trina says she'll be there. Okay, Trina, you are going to be in our group. Yes. Trina just pay all her dues over in Arizona. She used to be an agent here in Illinois. So she's signing up for everything. All right. Well, welcome back to, to Illinois from Arizona, right? No, she's actually licensed in Arizona now. Oh, license in Arizona. I got gotcha. you. Here, so she's there's we'll stuff. See you on Friday uh, with the Arizona Association of Realtors, and I believe I have three one-hour sessions. Oh, did you sign up for those, uh, Trina? Please sign up. What? Yeah, they're through your state association. Hmm. And she probably didn't even know that because she just wrote that big check. Yep. So I'm. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, what other questions do you have? So I use Zapier. Uh, I don't download, I don't export, import. Um, it I'm automates it. it. Out. I just automate it, yeah. It autom every time a lead hit. So what will happen is every time a lead hit, you have the autoresponder set up to respond. And then it would also talk directly to your customer relationship management or email marketing. There are so many ways that you could automate that on the back end and if you're going to automate it on the back end, what I would say is in your email marketing, make sure you put together a campaign that matches um, the download, the, 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 the download of the funnel. Okay, cool. So before we end, let's let I want you to just I could probably recap it for you. Fifty oh, right weeks on Facebook. Connect with. Say who we're connecting with again. Uh, 50 gregarious outgoing service providers, real estate service providers. So attorneys, if you're in a state that uh, utilizes attorneys to close real estate transactions, if not the title company, lenders, home inspectors, radon, stagers. stagers. But here's the thing. You want them to make you look good. So you want to go get the smart, gregarious ones who make you look like a million dollars. I am often amazed by how we need to be the smartest of the dummies. You don't want to be the smartest of the dummies. You want to be the dummy. So you want them to be like, man, I didn't know Marky knew that. You didn't know. They educating you in the process. And so now you even more smart, right? Um, and so you want that stand out person if you're going to introduce them to your sphere of influence. Okay, I like so because really you could just go live somewhere. It could be YouTube. That's how we could build out our YouTube channel. Yep, we. I mean, it's a lot of ways. One, look, Carrie. Let's just be consistent and do it. We we've neglected poor YouTube, and so we're gonna give it some love. Yeah, right. Okay, so there we go. And then, um, so your everybody's homework is if you don't know how to do this, go to Facebook.com/groups/realestatelive and take unit number. Did I say that? seven? I think I said seven. Okay. If you don't see it, look for it's around seven. And then uh, learn how to do this. And um, 
And then I think I'll, I'll go figure out if this, then that, if there's a recipe, an applet or whatever they're calling it now. And then I'll look at Zapier and maybe we'll make just a small 10 minute class on how to. I think yeah. I need to do a MailChimp class. A, one uh, a MailChimp class? Oh, that would be fun. I mean, I, I've been in MailChimp quite a bit and we and parts of our group are automated too now. So that's kind of fun as well. Um, and so, yeah, do a, a MailChimp will allow them to what use up to 2,000 emails for free, 2,000 contacts for free. And email. That, then you got yeah. It so I would say it's definitely a good place to start. If you're consistently marketing to 2,000 people, you should be making money and you should be able to afford email marketing. Right. Yeah. Okay. If you're doing what you're supposed to do. All right, guys. We're going to see you guys later. I'm coming back over here. Oh, Carrie, we want to take our infamous selfie or you want to get oh. one real quick? Well, we could take, well, let's just, we could take one just smiling first and then, right, Trina and Mina take our photos and Ty. Wait, I, I'm waiting my back one. Oh, oh, oh. All righty. See you guys later.